And on Manx Radio, the time just 14 minutes past the hour of 7 o'clock, and once again, down to join Peter Neal. Good, af- good evening, Peter. Good evening once again, and uh, event number three on the programme of the Southern 100 meeting for 1975, the 12-lap 350cc race, where I think now all the machines are on the grid. Uh, number 112, Robert Pegram, has just arrived, but the yellow flag still being displayed, so possibly another one has been slow on his warming up lamp, although the travelling marshal comes in, which would indicate that the field is there. The non-starters we can give you now for this uh, event, and they are as follows. 61, 67, 77, 80, 81, 93, 98, 100, 102, 106, 107, 108, and 109. Those are the non-starters for the 350 event, and we have just one change of machine, number 62, uh, Gordon Pantle has changed from the Spartan to the Yamaha. Number 62, Gordon Pantle rides the Yamaha. Well, the 350 event, and uh, again, the performance here goes towards the qualifying for the solo championship, which is due to be held tomorrow afternoon. And uh, what a wealth of talent there is indeed on the front row of this grid. Taking them in numerical order, number 62, Gordon Pantle, fourth in the 1,000cc production and 13th overall in the TT this year, uh, co-riding with Tom Newell and a regular competitor in the Grand Prix and the TT. Next to him, we have number 63, local competitor Roger Sutcliffe, who again had uh, a pretty good TT indeed. 22nd in the junior at 96.58, 16th in the senior TT at 93.71, and 11th in the open classic at 99.46, with a couple of laps in excess of 100 miles an hour. Next to him is number 64, Dave Williams, who uh, also was third overall in the production TT, co-riding with Selwyn Griffiths and finished in uh, second in the 1,000th class. And alongside him, number 65, Bill Smith, the man who I think I'm correct in saying has had 11 wins here in the 700, practically every class there is, and a very welcome and regular competitor. That's just the front row of the grid. Gordon Pantle, Roger Sutcliffe, Dave Williams, and Bill Smith. And we just have one minute to go. Um, Ian, I don't know in that 30 seconds or so you've got any thoughts you'd like to give us on this 350. Well, one thought obviously is that Neil Tuxworth, who won the 250cc race, is also in this one. We've seen him go round on his pageantry lap and obviously he's one to watch to see whether he can repeat that victory against all the talent that Peter's been talking about. Interesting that in 1974 we had a lap record and a race record in every single race. We're now on event number three of this year's Southern 100, and we haven't seen a record yet. That's not to say that the racing hasn't been good. It has. We look forward to a good race in the 350 as well, and as Peter said, plenty of talent, and uh, we're looking forward to it. Now back to you, Peter. Thanks, Ian. Well, uh, Bill Pinecroft once again with the Mengs flag in his hand, checking the watch. The riders off their machines, ready for the start. The flag is raised and down, and off we go. And listen to the noise now. Well, I just wouldn't attempt to compete with that, except to tell you I can, that uh, according to what I could see, number 64, Dave Williams, made a very, very good start indeed. Two, I understand, are pushing. Two machines not fired. Tom Christian, number 91, got away slowly. And 62 it is, uh, Gordon Pantle, in fact. 62 has not got away as yet, number 62. Just one machine... Gordon Pantle. Gordon Pantle has just been confirmed as away now, but down the field, and let's see what he can do. Dave Williams appeared to have a very good start to me. Uh, Very shortly, the road in front of Ian Cannell there at Ballard Norris and Ballabeg will be packed with machines, I would think. Ian, is that right? Well, just as you come over, the leader is uh, in view with about uh, 50 or 60 yards of a lead, I suppose, and it's number 66, Mervyn Robinson from Northern Ireland. Ahead of 64, Dave Williams, 69, Neil Tuxworth, 71, Les Newman, 
And now the pack. Just listen to them. Well, this really is a sight, and there is number 62, Gordon Panto, after that bad start in hot pursuit of the field, and he's last on the road. I'm afraid the only thing that's behind him is travelling marshal Des Evans, sweeping up behind them all, going round Balabeg Hairpin right now. And uh, we noticed that on the lap of pageantry before the start of the race that Gordon Panto was well down behind the main bunch and rather sounded as though he was trying to squirt it through Bella Whetstone in order to get the bugs cleared out of the motor. Well, obviously, one or two are still there, but the leader is at number 66 on lap one at Ballabeg, Mervyn Robinson from Northern Ireland, ahead of number 64, Dave Williams, number 69, Neil Tuxworth, 71, Les Newman in fourth place, 73, Richard Burrows in fifth place, number 63, Roger Sutcliffe in sixth place. In seventh place, number 65, Bill Smith. In eighth, number 74, Ray McCulloch. In ninth place, number 82, Graham Petit. And in tenth place, number 90, John Norris. One minute and 45 seconds have gone. They should be almost with you, Peter. Very shortly they will be. In fact, as you say, here he is, the leader. And he's flying. Number 66 crosses the line now. Second, number 69, Tuxworth. And he's three and a half seconds down. There's number 64 now. 74, 8, 63, 71, 73, 65. Bill Smith there. Number 70, 90, 85, 89. They're streaming past. But the order was 66. Neil Tuxworth, three and a half seconds down only in the second place. And this field is really streaming past. And I remind you that commentaries on this event are brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Breweries. While you're down south watching the races, pop into the Union, the Duck's Nest, or the Victoria Hotels in Castletown. They all serve Castletown, the ale of man. Commentaries on the 350 by Castletown Brewery. Well, this is unbelievable to see them coming down here, the way they're streaking. The order we made it at the end of lap one was 66, 69, 64, 74, local rider number 63, Roger Sutcliffe in fifth place, but now Ian. And number 66 is still there, ahead of Neil Tuxworth, and they're really having a scrap. And number 66, Mervyn Robinson has got determination written all over him. Dave Williams is still in third place. In fourth place, number 74, Ray McCulloch from Northern Ireland. He's come up from eighth place to fourth. Number 63, Roger Sutcliffe is in fifth place. Number 71, Les Newman is sixth. Number 73, Richard Burrows is seventh. Just ahead of number 65, Bill Smith, who is in eighth place. And as you say, Peter, this really is a sight to be seen. They're streaming along this road, nose to tail, side to side, first swinging to the right, then to the left. Leathers of many colors. And in amongst that lot is number 62, Gordon Pantle, who is in 28th position. Number 62, Gordon Pantle, after that bad start, is in 28th position. And he's obviously carving his way through the field. This is something to watch, and let's hope that the machine keeps going now and that he's got everything sorted. But it's number 66, Mervyn Robinson from Northern Ireland, riding a Yamsel. That's a Yamaha-powered machine with a Sealy frame. And he's got three seconds of a lead, so it's just fractionally less than it was with Peter. Pursuing him, number 69, the 250cc class winner, Neil Tuxworth. In third place, number 64, David Williams, five seconds behind Tuxworth. And just one second behind Dave Williams is number 74, Ray McCulloch from Northern Ireland. One minute, 45 seconds. They must be back with you, Peter. Well, they will be shortly. In fact, as uh, you hand over, here's the leader, 66. Second place, Tuxworth. The difference now, I make it just over two seconds. He's the third place man, number 74. Ray McCulloch has got ahead of number 64, Dave Williams. They're the first four at the end of lap two. And little gap opened up. Here's Sutty now, number 63. Roger Sutcliffe, 71 Newman, 
73, and now the pack. 90, there's Bill Smith, number 65, closely followed by number 70, Frank Kennedy. 85, 89, 75, 69, they go past as quick as that and really streaming down here, but let me tell you once again that I made that time that number 66 Robinson was just two and a half seconds ahead of the second place man, Neil Tuxworth. And interesting to hear from uh, Ian there about uh, Gordon Pantle being in 32nd position because uh, he was actually in 32nd position as they passed here last lap, so he's picked up four places by the time he'd reached you. I haven't seen him as yet, but I'm pretty sure you can see the leader. Yes, well, at least I did just a second or two ago. I've seen three, in fact. I've seen Mervyn Robinson, Neil Tuxworth, and Ray McCulloch in third place. Dave Williams goes past now on that familiar red and green streamlined machine of Ray Cowles. There's the fourth place man. And the fifth place man, rather, Roger Sutcliffe. Six is number 73. And here they come, streaming through. Bill Smith, number 65, is down there in an unaccustomed 10th place. He's been passed by several competitors, and that's not like Bill Smith. The lead for Mervyn Robinson is six, is three seconds. Three seconds, so it's just about the same. Two and a half with Peter, three seconds here. So he's holding off Neil Tuxworth at the moment. This is the third lap, the 12-lap race. And they're streaming through once again. There's Penta Pantol now. Bright yellow streamlining of the Beale Yamaha. And he is in 22nd place. So he's really carving his way through. Gordon Pantol up into 22nd place. And well in touch with quite a lot of the competitors just ahead of him. Here's a familiar helmet. The orange day glow helmet of Bill Fulton, number 72. Who's down in 30th place. Bill Fulton, a regular competitor in both Manx Grand Prix and TT. And now, back to Peter Neal. A reminder that Manx Radio's commentaries on the 350 class in the 700 races are brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Brewery. While you're down south watching the races, call in at the Ocean Castle or the Bradder Hotel in Port Erin. They both serve Castletown Ales. That's the Ale of Man. Well, he's a man now at the moment that hasn't got time for a pint just yet, but uh, I wouldn't be a bit surprised if he has a couple after this race. There's number 66, the leader, Mervyn Robinson. Second place now, Neil Tuxworth. Third place, Ray McCulloch. As quick as that, and I make it still that two and a half seconds that Robinson leads Tuxworth with McCulloch closing the gap, but they're pulling ahead now of the fourth place man who is with us. It's Dave Williams, number 64, and he's some 18 seconds down on the leader. Fifth place, number 63, Roger Sutcliffe. And he's some 25 seconds down. Then 73, 71, 90. Number 70, I see there. That's Frank Kennedy. Bill Smith. And number 75 alongside him, followed by 68. And bringing up the rear there was number 79, Richard Swallow. Streaming through indeed. Two and a half seconds of the lead. I make it still for the leader, Robinson, over... Tuxworth, and at the end of lap one, the leader, Robinson, was that did a lap of 84.43 from a standing start to lead by two and a half seconds from the second place man. Ian, the leaders are there. Yes, and we've got a change for second place. It's Ray McCulloch, or is it? They're wheel to wheel, McCulloch and Tuxworth, as they go out of the bend at Ballabeg. This is really exciting stuff. The leader is still firmly number 66, Mervyn Robinson, with four seconds now ahead of the second and third place men. And it's anybody's guess as to which of those two it is. Number 74, Ray McCulloch from Northern Ireland, or number 69, Neil Tuxworth from Lincolnshire. In the fourth place, it's still number 64, David Williams from Pontypool. Fifth, number 63, Roger Sutcliffe. And sixth, number 73, Richard Burrows. Bill Smith, number 65, goes past. He's down now into 13th place. That Suzuki must be giving Bill Smith trouble, I'm afraid, tonight. And we're looking now for Gordon Pantle. We can't see him yet. He was in 22nd place on the last excursion, remember? We've got number 82 with us now. That's Graham Petit from Redcar, followed by 83, Mal Kerwin from the Wirral, who's a regular competitor here. And there's Gordon Pantle, number 62. He's up into 20th place. Two more places gained on that lap. And he's still got plenty of men ahead of him. Plenty of men within his grasp on, for the next lap. And Gordon Pantle is still coming up through the field, and he could still finish amongst the leaders of this race. 
We're on the fourth lap. It's a 12-lap race, and the leader is number 66, Mervyn Robinson, ninth in this race last year, fifth in last year's championship, and he's riding a tremendous race. He's four seconds ahead of Ray McCulloch, or is he four seconds ahead of Neil Tuxworth? You can take your pick, but Peter will very shortly be able to tell us because the leaders are back with him. They are indeed, as you hand over. Here they are, and it's very close indeed. 66, 74, well, a second, call it. There's 69, Tuxworth, but Ray McCulloch is really chasing Mervyn Robinson now. I stopped the watch just under a second, separating them at the end of this fourth lap. Third distance, Mervyn Robinson, Ray McCulloch, and at number 69, Neil Tuxworth. And these three have really pulled away from the rest of the field at the moment. Here's Dave Williams, number 64, still holding on to his fourth place, but he's now 23 seconds behind the leader. Roger Sutcliffe should be bringing fifth place shortly. And indeed, there he is, 63, 73, 90, and 71. He's really being chased now, is Roger Sutcliffe. That's number 70, Frank Kennedy, 17th last year. Another rider from Northern Ireland. A group now, number 75, 79, 68, and bringing up the rear is number 86, and that's James Scott. Bill Smith is there, gone through, and Gordon Pantle still moving up through the field, but have we got a new leader now, Ian? Not quite but they're almost together there. It's still Robinson ahead of McCulloch, and there's Tuxworth, who's uh, been detached to the tune of about oh, 50 or 60 yards. It's six seconds, uh, the time interval, between the first two who are, can't be separated on time. They're right together there, wheel to wheel, but it's number 66, Mervyn Robinson, just by a whisker from Ray McCulloch, number 74. Neil Tuxworth is third, six seconds down, Number 64, David Williams goes through. He's 20 seconds behind Tuxworth in fourth place. Now we're waiting for Roger Sutcliffe. Number 63, here he is, but he's behind number 73 now. 73, Richard Burrows, up into fifth place, ahead of Roger Sutcliffe. Number 90 is there. They're all in a bunch. Newcomer, John Norris from Bexley Heath in seventh place. That's creditable. In eighth place, number 71, Les Newman. In ninth place, number 70, Frank Kennedy, also from Northern Ireland. The lap record is, num is 2 minutes, 51.8 seconds, 89.05, established last year by Derek Huxley. Will it be broken? It's on the cards, I've no doubt. Bill Smith goes through, he's definitely in trouble, and he's overtaken by Gordon Pantle, who is now up into 17th place. Bill Smith, number 65, has stopped. He's obviously been in trouble from the start of the race. He's stopped at Ballabeg, but rider perfectly okay. He's got some sort of engine trouble and he's preparing to push the machine off to the side of the road. Talking to the marshals there. Now, this is hard luck for Bill Smith, a man who has, I think at the last count, 29 TT replicas. A, a very, very regular supporter, both of the TT and of the Southern 100. But the leaders must now be back with you, Peter. Who's leading now? Ray McCulloch. Mervyn Robinson. Just over a second between them. So, a new leader, Ray McCulloch. There's Neil Tuxworth in third place, and he's nine seconds now down on the leader. Ray McCulloch in front of Mervyn Robinson with number 69, Neil Tuxworth, in third place. At the end of lap three, the difference between number 66, the leader then, Robinson, and number 69, Tuxworth, was just two seconds. And uh, here's the next place man, Dave Williams, yes, number 64. And I can give you news on retirement. Number 94, Pete Laverick at Balakakan. Number 103, Neil Etoff at the paddock, number 99, Mick Higgins at Cross Four Ways, as number 73 goes through ahead of number 63, and then a real gaggle there, a battle indeed for the leaderboard places. The final retirement I can tell you about is number 84, who is Gerald Babb from Ulverston on a Yamaha at Castletown Bridge. All riders are perfectly okay. Neil, uh, Gordon Pantle we had up into 17th position at the end of the previous lap. Ian. Well, the lead for Ray McCulloch is now two and a half seconds, and there's Neil Tuxworth in third place. One of the back markers behind him, number 113, newcomer Peter Freeland from Douglas. And there's, there's a long gap now before the fourth place man, which is David Williams, just approaching Palabeg now, down through the gears. We see his right wrist twitching as he flips the throttle, changing down. Round the corner he goes and accelerates away towards Palo Whetstone. That's David Williams, 22 seconds behind Neil Tuxworth, who is third. 
Neil Tuxworth is 10 seconds behind Mervyn Robinson, who's just two and a half seconds behind Ray McCulloch. So McCulloch has definitely got himself into a lead now, and try as Mervyn Robinson can, he doesn't seem to be able to do much about it. But there's a long way to go. We're just coming up to the half-distance mark, six laps of this 12-lap race. And where is Gordon Pantle? We're looking now, 17th he was, I think. Yes, 17th on the last lap through. We've had 14 past. This looks like him. Here he is now. Very, very fast indeed on the approach to Palapeg. Red and white leathers. The Welsh lion on his helmet. And round he goes. Gordon Pantle in 15th place now. And now back to Peter. A reminder that these commentaries on the exciting 350cc class and the Southern 100 races are brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Breweries. While you're down south, pop into a Castletown house for a refreshing drink. Local hotels serving Castletown ales include the Bay Queen Hotel, Port St. Mary, and the Bay Hotel in Port Erin. Well, now the leader is Ray McCulloch. Second place man is Mervyn Robinson. They're in among the tail enders now, and the lead is four seconds for McCulloch over the second place man. He's the third place man, Neil Tuxworth now, but he's dropping behind in this event. He's some 15 seconds down on the leader. So McCulloch leading by four seconds from number 66, Robinson, who in turn is some 10 seconds ahead of number 69, Neil Tuxworth, and it's 30 seconds now since the leader went, and uh, the fourth place man not yet in view. We had uh, Gordon Pantle as a matter of interest in 16th position at the end of that previous lap. There's number 64, Dave Williams. There's uh, a couple of lads who have been uh, left. We expect number 73 still to be in the fifth place, and number 73 is Richard Burrows. And as I talk, there he is. And number 71, 70, 90, and 63, Roger Sutcliffe dropping down the field. Ian is the leader there. Yes, he is, and now he's gone. And there's the second-place man, Mervyn Robinson, just adjusting his line as he goes through five seconds behind the leader. So Ray McCulloch is extending his lead, and number 104 there, almost balked by a, slow, by a faster competitor, number 104, with someone else overtaking him right across his front wheel. That's Andrew Chad, who just had to drop a, a foot, but he's got away all right. Just the first three through, then Neil Tuxworth is through as well. 13 seconds behind Mervyn Robinson. 18 seconds separating the first three. Here's fourth place man now, David Williams. Number 64, the right knee goes out. Round he goes. Plenty of road for him. And here are the pursuing pack with number 73 just about to overtake number 96 ahead of him. The 73 is Richard Burrows. 71 is through. Les Newman in sixth place. Number 70, Frank Kennedy, seventh. Number 90, John Norris, a newcomer, in eighth place. Just ahead of Roger Sutcliffe, who is in ninth place and dropping down the field. He was in seventh place on the last lap. We're now on lap seven, and Roger Sutcliffe has lost two places on that lap and has now dropped to ninth place. There's Gordon Pantle, number 62, and he's up into fourth, 14th place. He's just gained one position on that lap. Number 62, Gordon Pantle continuing to make progress, but the further up the field he goes, of course, the harder he will find it to pick off other competitors. Number 85, Raymond Hilton goes past from Lee. He is in 15, 16th place, and now the leaders must be with you, Peter. Yes, they are. 66. 74 had gone, there's 66 in second place, very close, there's number 72, Bill Fulton, I think that is, 72, yes, sounds a little bit of bother, McCulloch and uh, Robinson are through, number 74 and number 66, there's number 69, Neil Tuxworth, number 95, who has been lapped, number 30, 91 also has, that's Tom Christian, there's number 104, 104, Andrew Chad from Stockport, this is number 97, another man who's been left, Michael Harrison. And still just the first three are through. He's the fourth place man now, number 64, Dave Williams. So the order remains unchanged, 74, 66, 69, and 64. And we wait now for this battle between 73, 71, 70, and 90. Here's the beginning of it, number 73, and he's out on his own now. That's Richard Burrows. 
Next along is number 63, Roger Sutcliffe. Back up a couple of places, 70, 90 and 86, Ian. Well, the lead is now 10 seconds. I'm afraid that uh, there's little that Mervyn Robinson can do about Dray McCulloch, who is extending his lead relentlessly on lap eight, coming up to two-thirds distance. There's Neil Tuxworth in third place, and he is falling back as well. He's 19 seconds behind Mervyn Robinson, and that was 13 seconds on the last lap, so he's lost six seconds in one lap. He's now 29 seconds, almost half a minute behind the leader. And Ray McCulloch is pulling away yard by yard, second by second. And here is the fourth place man now, David Williams, number 64. Round he goes ahead of number 97, Michael Harrison from Selston, who has been lapped on his air Mackey. 23 seconds between third and fourth place. Now we've got number 73 with us, Richard Burrows. Tenth in this race last year, now lying fifth. Number 63, Roger Sutcliffe, has suddenly appeared in sixth place. He's come up from ninth place on the previous lap, up into sixth. Roger Sutcliffe back on the leaderboard. Seventh is number 90, John Norris. Eighth, number 86, James Scott. Ninth, number 75, Norman Dunn. And tenth, number 68, George Fogarty from Blackburn. And there is Gordon Pantol, number 62, who is now up into 12th place. Two more positions gained on that lap. He's still got four and a half laps to go. He is in 12th place, and the leaders are with you, Peter. That was him just crossing the line, number 74, Ray McCulloch, out in front. This is number 101. Number 101 is Paul Martin. There's the second place man now, number 66, Mervyn Robinson, who is 11 and a half seconds down. So, the lead increasing for number 74, Ray McCulloch. He took it on lap six, and he's held it and increased it. That's number 110 going through. The third place man not with us yet, but he is now. This is number 69, Neil Tuxworth, and he crosses the line some 30 seconds behind the leader. 30 seconds behind the leader. That would make him about 19 seconds behind the second place man. So, eight laps completed, four to go, and Ray McCulloch increasing his lead over number 66, Mervyn Robinson, and indeed over number 69, Neil Tuxworth. And uh, just been given the news that uh, the average speed for the leader after six laps was 89.31 miles an hour, 89.31, compared to the record average of 89.05. So it could well be a record-breaking race average. Is he with you, Ian? Well, the uh, field's still streaming through here. Perhaps there was noise and Ian didn't hear me, but uh, I know the leader will be well past you now, Ian Cannell, over there at Balabeg. Well, seem to have uh, a slight problem there, so let's continue with the uh, commentary and describe the scenes as they're happening. We're at uh, lap eight completed. There's number 62, Gordon Pantle, going through, and we make him now up into 11th position and uh, going very well indeed. Number 62, Gordon Pantle, up into 11th position. The uh, leaders have left here now some two minutes. That's number 96. Number 96 is P.G. Shillings from Ghoul on a Yamaha. And a machine in trouble here, number 105 being pushed in, number 105 being Anthony Russell from Stroud. Just a reminder that the Manx Radio commentaries on the 350 class and the 700 race are brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Brewery. Drink Castletown Ale, the ale of man, at any Castletown house. Try the Union, the Duck's Nest, or the Victoria Hotels in Castletown. Well, now... There's uh, number 70, 76, and 78. And it's now coming up to 2 minutes and 45 seconds since uh, this lap started. So shortly the leader should be here. In fact, as I talk, he's there. Ray McCulloch. And he's certainly building up a terrific lead here. Number 74, Ray McCulloch, completes 9 laps of the 12-lap race. Just 3 to go. He's the second-place man now, I think. Number 66, it is indeed... And I can tell you now he's some 15 and a half seconds down on the race leader, number 74, Ray McCulloch. 15 and a half seconds, Robinson behind McCulloch as we complete nine laps. There's number 101, who is a lap down, and that's uh, Paul Martin. 
number 112 getting the uh, black flag or the equivalent. He's number 69, Neil Tuxworth, and he's dropping way down some 38 seconds down now on the leaders, Ray McCulloch. 74, 66, and 69. And the fourth place man we expect will be number 64. Not in view as yet. And Gordon Pantel now on our chart has moved up into 11th position. And I wonder now, is the leader there? And can we join Ian Cannell? Well, we uh, can't, so let's continue commentary here. This is number 64, Dave Williams. He's lying in fourth place. And he now is some one minute and ten seconds down on the leader. And he's held that fourth place ever since lap number two. Next machine now comes into view, and this is number 73. Closely followed now by number 63, Roger Sutcliffe. Number 86, 95 in that order, but there's another place man, number 90. And uh, number 90, I can tell you, is John Norris, a newcomer. That's number 104 going through, who is Andrew Chad from Stockport. 79, there's Gordon Pantle, still circulating very well indeed. And we make him now still holding on to that 11th position. So no change in the first uh, first five now since uh, lap seven. The order being Ray McCulloch leading from Mervyn Robinson. Third place, Neil Tuxworth. Fourth place, number 64, Dave Williams. Fifth, number 73, Richard Burrows. And then number 63, Roger Sutcliffe. And some news of a couple of retirements I can give you. And it is at number 65, Bill Smith, confirmed as retired at Ballabeg, rider perfectly okay. And number 71, Les Newman, has retired at Church Bends. Again, the rider is perfectly okay. Les Newman, a man who was certainly uh, up into eighth place at one stage in this race. There's the leader once again, number 74, Ray McCulloch, number 74, through leading at the end of a 10th lap with just two to go, and uh, no sign of the second place man as yet, but as I talk, I think one of these is, no, that's number 9287, there's the second place man, number 66, Mervyn Robinson, and the lead increasing all the time for Ray McCulloch. I say again, at the end of the six-lap half distance, he was averaging 89.31 miles an hour. The third-place man, Neil Tuxworth, not with us as yet. I look to my left to see the first glimpse, the yellow helmet, the yellow leathers, and there he is, number 69, Neil Tuxworth, lying in third place, ten laps completed, just two to go. Next machine I see is number 101. That's not uh, one of the leaders. Number 101 is Paul Martin on the Suzuki from Birkenhead. Number 64, Dave Williams, should be holding on to that fourth place and should be the next rider on this 10th lap of this 12-lap 350 event. Machine run, Alexander Bridge. We can hear it accelerating away from there onto this very fast bypass, and it is indeed number 64, David Williams, and he's followed by number 110, who is a lap down. That's Mark Jones from Appleby on a Yamsell. So the first four unchanged at the end of the 10th lap. And number 73, Richard Burrows, who was 10th in the race last year, is with us. And so is Roger Sutcliffe, number 63. So no change whatever in the first six at the end of the 10th lap. And that's been the same for laps 7, 8, 9, and 10. There's number 90. He's also in the leaderboard. That's John Norris, or I should say, just off the leaderboard. And uh, more time is being handed to me now, and I can tell you that the average speed has increased slightly for the leader at the end of lap nine, because his average speed has gone up to 89.32 miles an hour. 89.32 miles an hour. Second was number 66. That's Mervyn Robinson, who was some 15.4 seconds down on the leader and second place man was averaging 88.43 miles per hour the leader 89.32 ahead of the record average set last year at 89.05 miles per hour well it's two coming up to two and a half minutes now since the uh, leader has gone through i'll take him through here and then we'll be going over to join ian i hope at valabeg but at the moment we wait for the leader come through 
to finish 11 laps and start his 12th and final one. And there he is, 74. And he just passes two of the back markers right in front of our commentary box. And that is the leader. The second place man is not with us as yet. Number 74, Ray McCulloch, is well, well out in front now. He's the second place man, is it? Yes, number 66. And I can tell you now that he's some 22 seconds down, 22 seconds behind the leader with just one lap to go. The third place man uh, we expect will be Neil Tuxworth. He should be with us very shortly. 92 to 87, this is not him. It's the yellow helmet and the yellow fairing we look for for Neil Tuxworth, the winner of the 250 event not too long ago, and now lying in third place in this 350 event. Should be in view, he is in view, so that's the first three through. There's Neil Tuxworth, 53 seconds behind the leader, and let's see if we can join Ian. Yes, you can this time, I'm glad to say, and there is number 74, the leader, Ray McCulloch, going round Bellabeg for the last time in this race, just ahead of number 85, Raymond Hilton, who's been lapped, waiting for the second place man now. It should be Mervyn Robinson, number 66. We're looking down the road. Tail Enders streaming through. But here is Robinson, he's flat over the tank until the last moment, into the left-hand gutter, across the hairpin he goes. O'Kane Motors, Armoy, it says on the side of his motorcycle, on the side of his streamlining, and he is 22 seconds behind Ray McCulloch on the last lap of this 350cc event. Our apologies for the, for the loss of transmission, technical problems, I'm afraid. It's not only racing motorcyclists that get gremlins in the motor. But it's first and second through, waiting for third place man now. And here's Neil Tuxworth now. We can always spot that yellow helmet, and here he is now approaching the corner. Round he goes with the yellow leathers, with his stars on the arms. That is number 69, Neil Tuxworth in third place, 34 seconds behind Mervyn Robinson, so there's no danger there to Robinson. 22 seconds separate the leader uh, from the second place man, so there's not much danger there either, with just about uh, three miles or so to go to the checkered flag. Looking for the fourth place man, which should be David Williams, number 64. And I can tell you while we're waiting that number 62, Gordon Pantle, seems to be up into eighth place after a tremendous ride. That should be good enough to qualify him for the championship tomorrow. There's number 64, David Williams, and now Peter. Well, I can tell you that we had the first 90 mile an hour lap by a solo on the 700 course. Number 74, Ray McCulloch, 2 minutes 47.8. 91.17 miles per hour and as I talk there's the man himself the winner of the event and a record lap and I can tell you that the record lap once again was 91.17 miles per hour still waiting for the second place man but Ray McCulloch goes into the history books with the first 90 mile an hour lap 91.17 2 minutes 47.8 there's the second place man number 66 finishing and uh, he's just knocked that uh, 250, uh, 350 lap record by exactly four seconds. Four seconds in 4.25 miles. That's not bad motoring, almost a second a mile. And an average speed for his lap of 91.17 mile per hour, the lap record. And that seems pretty certain, too, as if we're going to have um, a race record speed in this 350 event as well. Uh, just the two finishers so far. Here's Neil Tuxworth coming into third place. And a successful meeting so far with a first and third for Neil Tuxworth. And I remind you that Manx Radio commentaries on this 350 class of the Southern 100 races were brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Breweries. While in the Isle of Man, drink the Ale of Man at any Castletown house. Castletown Ales are available locally at the station and shore hotels in Port St. Mary. Well, now with the uh, first three in at number 74 Ray McCulloch, number 66 Mervyn Robinson and number 69 Neil Tuxworth. Here's the fourth place man now number 64 at Dave Williams and he's had a pretty consistent ride because apart from lap one where he was in third place he's held fourth place right throughout the race and uh, even on a short course like this it's been a fairly lonely ride for him I would think. There's number 73 in fifth place number 73 Richard Burrows and Sooty Roger Sutcliffe finishes in sixth position. 
and we noticed that Gordon Pantle was up to 8th place and could possibly come into 7th place. We wait for that with interest now. He has indeed, as I talk, here he is, number 62. Into 7th position, followed by number 90, and number 90 is John Norris. So that's the first eight confirmed that we have. And uh, again, one sits and thinks and wonders where Gordon Pantle could have finished if he hadn't had that bad start. Come right up through the field from down in 32nd position at the end of the first lap up to 8th position at the end of the race. And as Ian said, no doubt that will be good enough for him to qualify for the championship tomorrow afternoon. Uh, of course, he's uh, not out in the... Uh, the next race, the 750 class, Gordon, in fact he is, yes, Gordon Pantle is riding the big Suzuki in the 750 race, which will be the final event for this evening, um, but he's already got his qualifying place, I would say, with that eighth place in the 350 event. More of the boys finishing, there's number 91, Tom Christian, number 91 on the Air Mackey from Ramsey with the very bright new leathers uh, bearing the names Island Scaffolding, which he was presented with not too long ago. So uh, Tom Christian finished there. Machine number 91 is Air Mackey from Ramsey in the Isle of Man. And uh, Tom, as well as being a, a good motorcyclist, along with his wife, is a very good rally driver because in the TT Supporters Club rally held last Sunday, it was Tom that finished in first place in that event as well. So four or two, he's pretty handy. Just remind you that Manx Radio Commentaries on the 350 class in the Southern 100 races were brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Breweries. While you're down south watching the races, pop into the Union, the Duck's Nest, or the Victoria Hotel in Castletown. They all serve Castletown. That's the Ale of Man. And certainly after the next race, I know that one of those will be very welcome indeed. <laughs> Well, we just wait now for confirmation of the uh, first six, and also uh, if the lap record had been broken again, I'd say again that Ray McCulloch has lapped at 91.17, 2 minutes, 47.8 seconds. The 350 over then, and uh, we then come to the final event this evening, which will be the 750 class, and uh, again, some uh, pretty potent machinery and some excellent riders in that event to come, the 750 event. And uh, we'll be bringing commentary on that very shortly indeed. The conditions down here again are just about perfect for racing, as indeed it would suggest with the lap record on the first 90 mile an hour lap. And I suppose a lot of people were remembering uh, who can, I can't myself, I've read about it, of 1938 when the first 90 mile an hour lap was set up on the TT course. And I think that was around about 91 miles an hour too by Harold Daniels. So, uh, there's a little bit of reminiscing, 91.17 miles an hour for Ray McCulloch, number 74, uh, from Northern Ireland, a consistent competitor here in the Southern 100 events, and uh, was famous for the QUB machines, Queen University Belfast, which they built, but uh, unfortunately didn't have a lot of success, but certainly a tremendous rider indeed. And now the confirmation of the result. The winner, number 74, Ray McCulloch from Northern Ireland, riding a Yamaha, and uh, 34 minutes, 10.8, 34 minutes, 10.8 seconds, which is well inside the uh, average, the record race average, which was set last year, 89.52. In second place, number 66, Mervyn Robinson, Yamsell, also from Northern Ireland, 34 minutes, 32.6, 88.57. Third, number 69, Neil Tuxworth, 35 minutes, 10.2, 86.96. In fourth place, number 64, Dave Williams, 35 minutes, 46.4, 85.54. Fifth, number 73, Richard Burrows from Lincoln on a Yamaha, 36 minutes, 0.2, 84.99. And in sixth place, number 63, local competitor Roger Sutcliffe on the Yamaha, 36 minutes, 35.8, 83.61. And uh, that was the quickest lap of the race, the one we mentioned, the record lap by the winner, Ray McCulloch, 2 minutes, 47.8 seconds, an average speed of 91.17 miles per hour. So that concludes the commentaries on the 350 event, which we remind you once again were brought to you by courtesy of Castletown Breweries. When in the island, drink the Ale of Man, Castletown Ale, available in many houses we've mentioned down here in the south of the island, and of course, indeed, the island over. So that's the news on the 350, the uh, 
7.50, the final event of the evening. According to the program, is due to start at 8.25, but uh, looking at the time now, just approaching 8 o'clock, with the organization of the Southern Committee, it will be starting earlier than that. So until we have the riders in front of us for the final event, Mike, let's go back to you for music. And thank you very much, Peter. We look forward to joining you for the final race this evening, the 7.50. My kind of sound, 